Hello and a very warm welcome. Today we've got some great news for you all. I'm excited to present to you Loxone Config in the app version 12.2, which includes loads of new features and improvements to your favorite home and building automation software. Fundamentally, Loxone is an open system. If a product has a suitable interface, it can be integrated into a Loxone project, regardless of the manufacturer or application. Plus, the number of interfaces we support is impressive, to say the least. And it's also steadily growing. Modbus, IP, RS485, or OneWire, just to name a few. And one of the most exciting new features I would like to talk about today is the new Loxone library. With the Loxone library, we offer an open collection of different templates, which allow you to integrate devices from other manufacturers quickly and easily in just a few clicks. No matter whether you want to integrate a Tesla Powerwall, a Varta battery, a Denon AV receiver, or a Solar Edge inverter, in the Loxon library, you will find a variety of listings for different manufacturers and technology types. And what's even more exciting, you can contribute to this library. As a manufacturer, Loxon partner, or a user with technical experience, you can create and submit your own templates. These will be reviewed by us and then made available in the library. I won't keep you waiting much longer. Let's have a look at the new Loxon library in detail. By double-clicking on the downloaded file, the template is added. In my case, the inverter communicates via Modbus TCP, so via the network. That means I have to create a new Modbus server network device and can now open the template under the Device Templates option. And with just those few clicks, all stored inputs and outputs are available. Back in the library, you can log in with your Loxone account. This allows you to rate and leave comments on the template. You also have the ability to contact the creator directly. To create your own template, we jump back into Loxone Config. If you have created your own device, which has one of the known interfaces, you can easily create a template with just a right click. Back in the library, under the item creator dashboard, you'll find all your previously created template, as well as the option to upload a new template. Just enter the title, and follow the steps to complete the upload. It is important that the community has as much information as possible and that the template has a precise description and if necessary, an example configuration and supporting PDF downloads, for example. And now it's your turn. Become a contributor and bring the Loxon library to life. The new block is inserted as usual via the search. By double-clicking on the block, a window opens where you can configure your own flow control. On the left side, you see all the inputs and outputs and the functions that are available to you. To illustrate, I've created a simple script, which represents an on-off delay. The so-called sequence is triggered with the input S1. Of course, the whole thing can also be simulated. To do this, I simply start the simulation and follow along live to see how my script works. You can find more examples that illustrate the entire range of possibilities with this function block in our blog post. One feature that I'm sure many Loxon partners and customers have been waiting for is the integration of Miele appliances. Starting with version 12.2, Miele at home appliances can be seamlessly integrated into the Loxon home and building automation. Make use of the full potential of Miele appliances and make the everyday life of your customers even smarter. From now on, you'll find Miele in the network device list in Loxon config. After adding it to your configuration, the first thing you'll have to do is save your configuration to the mini server. Then you can authenticate your Miele account in a separate window. After completing those steps, you can now search for and add your Miele at home appliances. In my case, I'm adding a dryer, a washing machine, and a refrigerator. After successfully adding those and again saving the configuration to the mini server, all inputs and outputs you need to control the appliances and request their status are now available to you. Starting with version 12.2 of the Loxone Config and app, the Tesla Powerwall can quickly and easily be integrated into a Loxone system via a network device template. Battery storage is an important part of efficient energy management. And in order to get the maximum efficiency out of a battery storage, it has to communicate with the home and building automation system. And this is exactly what the Tesla Powerwall can do. 
To start, just add it from the network device list directly in Logzone config. Now, just connect the inputs of the battery storage with the energy manager function block to create an individually tailored energy management system in your project. Thanks to the energy manager function block and the integration of the Tesla Powerwall, the electricity produced by a solar PV system is used optimally. If you want to brush up on your energy manager function block skills, we've already published a video on that, which you can find right here in the top right corner. However, some energy storage devices have another feature that's very interesting for smart buildings. Thanks to the emergency power switching of the power wall, in combination with the energy saving Luxone products, a grid independent operation of consumers on a single phase connection is easily doable over a certain period of time. If the mains connection is interrupted by a power failure, for example, the battery storage reports this to the mini server. This activates a certain predefined operating mode, which includes various actions. For example, the LED lighting can be switched to a kind of emergency mode, which could be a maximum power of 70%, for example. Furthermore, the activation of load-intensive devices can be prevented during this so-called emergency operating mode. In addition to the highlights I just showed you, there are many more new features and improvements that constantly increase the functionality, security, and stability of a lock zone installation. And as always, these updates are 100% free of charge. The whole range of updates that come with version 12.2 can be found in our changelog. And if you like this video, we'd be more than happy with a thumbs up. And if you never want to miss another video about software updates, products, or config examples, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Thank you for watching and have fun with version 12.2 of Luxon Config. See you soon.